Hello students, good evening. Today we are starting our algebra second lesson, real numbers. Yes, last year you studied some of the sets. In that, some types of number we see. Which one that? First is natural number set. Natural number is denoted by letter N. And it is written as 1, 2, 3, 4 up to infinity. Second set you see in there whole numbers. Whole numbers is written as the letter W. And it is written as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to infinity. Means from natural numbers to whole numbers, one more number is added and that is 0. Natural number is starting from 1. Whole numbers are starting from 0. Next set of integers. Set of integers is denoted by letter I. In case of integer, positive and negative integers up to infinity and therefore here the set is written as infinite minus 3 minus 2 minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, infinity. These three sets last year you studied. Also the fourth set you and that is rational number set. Rational numbers are denoted by letter Q. Then what is the meaning of rational numbers? Yes, last year you have this definition. If P and Q are integers, Q not equal to 0, then the number P upon Q is called rational number. Here remember P and Q are integers. Integers means positive, negative or 0. All numbers are there. But Q not equal to 0. Why? Because Q is in denominator and in algebra, we will not consider denominator term is 0. And therefore, our definition is if P and Q are integers, Q not equal to 0, then the numbers P upon Q is called as rational number. Then how to write rational number set? Q is equal to in curly bracket P upon Q such that P and Q belongs to I. I means integer and Q not equal to 0. What we written in definition, same in set builder form we written there. Now from all this what you are understanding? Natural numbers is a subset of, you know, natural number belongs to whole number. Whole number belongs to integers. Integer belongs to rational number and rational number belongs to real number. Now when we are considered the real numbers we are studying afterward are for real number set there. Now when we are taking rational number, there is one term last year also you studied and that is order of the rational number, order relation. For that we want two rational numbers, one we taken P upon Q and second we taken R upon S. Here remember Q term is in denominator and S also in denominator, therefore those not equal to zero. Then how to compare that? For comparison, we want to take their cross multiplication. P upon Q and R upon S means you want to take PS and QR. These two products comparison we are doing. Then first rule is if PS is greater than QR, then P upon Q is greater than R upon S. Second rule is PS is less than QR, then P upon Q is less than R upon S. And third is equality relation. If PS is equal to QR, then P upon Q equal to R upon S. Already these three rules last year you studied. Then depending on that, three examples are given there. First example is 5 upon 7 and 3 upon 2. Numerator of first term is 5 and denominator of second term is 2. Means 5 into 2 cross multiplication. Also, denominator of first term into numerator of second term means 7 into 3. 5 2 is 10, 7 3 is 21. When you compare this, which number is greater? 21. Then how to write? 10 is smaller than 21. Which sign you are getting in this product? Same sign you give in the numbers and therefore 5 upon 7 is less than 3 upon 2. Now see the second sum. What are given there? 8 upon 3 and minus 2 upon 5. First numerator, 8. First, second denominator, 5. Take multiplication of that, 
8 into 5. First denominator 3 and second numerator minus 2, 3 into minus 2. 8 5 is 40, 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. Who is greater now? 40. 40 is greater than minus 6 and therefore 8 upon 3 is greater than minus 2 upon 5. Here you may say directly also every positive number is greater than every negative number also. By that also we can keep the sign. Third sum I given there 6 upon 4 and 15 upon 10. Now take the product again 6 multiply by 10 and 4 multiply by 15. 6 tens are 60, 4 fifteens are also 60. Both the numbers are equal. Therefore, which sign? Equal sign. Then 6 upon 4 equal to 15 upon 10. Means when you will compare any two fraction, maybe first fraction is smaller than second one or first fraction is greater than second one or first and second both are equal and this type of relation is known as order relation. Now, we want to see here properties of rational numbers. Here, when you will consider the rational numbers, there are different type of properties. Properties for addition and properties for multiplication. We consider here three rational numbers A, B and C. Now, first we are considering properties of addition of rational number. Then, what is that? First rule I written A plus B equal to B plus A. It is known as commutative property. Means first number plus second number equal to second number plus first number. Now, when we consider the three numbers, second rule you will get in bracket A plus B plus third number C equal to A plus in bracket b plus c means first number plus second number in that sum you add the third number or in the sum of second and third you add the first number answer is same this is known as associative property third is known as a plus zero equal to zero plus a equal to a means in any number you are adding zero then also same number you are getting this property is known as additive identity. Now fourth one, A plus of minus A. What is the relation A and minus A? Those are opposite numbers, opposite to each other. Then A plus minus A, its answer is 0 and this property is known as additive inverse. Means these are the four properties of Addition of rational number, first is commutative property, second associative, third additive identity and fourth is additive inverse. Now we want to see here properties of multiplication of rational numbers. Same properties means same four type of properties we are seeing in case of multiplication also. Then what is the first property? A multiplied by B equal to B multiplied by A. First number into second number equal to second number into first number. This property is known as commutative property. When you are taking the second property, again three numbers we are considering. First we are taking product of first two. A multiplied by B. It is written in bracket. Multiply by the third number C equal to A multiply by in bracket B multiply by C. Means first you take product of first two, multiply the answer by third number or first number multiply by product of second and third answer, then also both answers are correct. It is known as associative property. Now third property is A multiply by 1 equal to 1 multiply by A equal to A. Means any number when multiplied by 1, then same answer you are getting, same number you are getting, it is known as multiplicative identity. Fourth one is A multiply by 1 upon A. Here A and 1 upon A are reciprocal of each other. Then when we are taking the product of reciprocals, A multiply by 1 upon A or 1 upon A multiply by A, its answer you are getting 1, it is known as multiplicative inverse. 
means here first four property how we taken about the addition same type of four property in multiplication also commutative and associative properties names are same in case of addition we are using additive identity in case of multiplication we are using multiplicative identity in case of addition additive inverse in case of multiplication multiplicative inverse now depending on these eight properties i given the sums aside there because of that you can understand the meaning of the property what is our first property a plus b equal to b plus a then here 5 plus 3 equal to 3 plus 5 equal to 8 similarly 5 plus 3 plus 2 equal to 5 plus 3 plus 2 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 2 10 or 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 5 also 10 5 plus 0 equal to 0 plus 5 equal to 5 and 5 plus minus 5 equal to 0 same type in multiplication also i given 5 multiply by 3 or 3 multiply by 5 you will get 15 Similarly, five multiply by three multiply by two. First two numbers in bracket I written, then five three is a fifteen. Fifteen two is a thirteen. In second case, I taken second and third in bracket. That is three two is a six. Six five is a thirty. Similarly, for third multiplicative identity, multiply by one, then five one is a five or one five is also five. And for fourth multiply by reciprocal, five reciprocal is One upon five, then five into one upon five, or one upon five into five equal to one. Now, how to write the decimal representation of rational numbers? In case of rational number p upon q, we are writing in fraction form. Then, what is the meaning of that? P is divided by q. Here, when you are taking the division, if R equal to zero means remainder equal to zero. Then p upon q is known as terminating type decimal. Last year you completed this. If R not equal to zero, remainder is not equal to zero, then p upon q is non-terminating type of decimal. Similarly, if in a quotient a number or group of numbers repeated, then such numbers are called recurring. decimal terminating type decimal means r equal to 0 non terminating type decimal r not equal to 0 and when a group of number or any number is repeated then it is known as recurring decimal for showing that two sums in your textbook i taken that first sum is 4 upon 5 what is the meaning of that 4 is divided by 5 always upper number are coming inside the bracket below the division sign and which is the denominator that outside number then 5 cannot be divided to 4 therefore 5 zeros are 0 then you want to take here 5 zeros are 0 first now take 0 on it that is here becomes 40 5 8 is 40 and remainder is 0 here remainder 0 means it is terminating type decimal and we will get 4 upon 5 equal to 0.8 now when you consider second one 25 upon 99 here 25 divided by 99 first 25 is smaller than 99 therefore 99 zeros are 0 25 as it is now take one more zero on it 250 then 99 to ja 198 250 minus 198 you will get 500 sorry 50 On that one zero you take, it becomes five twenty. Now nine five ha forty five. That is ninety nine five ha four ninety five will be subtracted, and again you are getting twenty five. Now when you see here, we will start at the division from twenty five, and again you are coming on the same remainder twenty five there. If you do again the division pass uh, next there, you will get the same type of numbers 2.25, 0.25 like that. And therefore here in quotient 25, this number is recurred again. Then this is a recurring decimal 
fraction and here remainder is not equal to 0 but from which number or from which group we start there the same group we are getting there then we will get 25 upon 99 equal to 0 0.25 then such type of any fraction any rational number can be converted into terminating type decimal or non-terminating type decimal or sometimes it is recurring decimal fraction also. Understand? Thank you.